Hey everyone, this is part 5, and we're going to be getting the last element of an array. Again, very similar to what we did with a string. We're going to take advantage of the length property that arrays have, and we're going to take advantage of the fact that array index is start at 0 to allow us to always get the last element uh, without having to figure out the length of the array in question. So here's a rather odd looking version of it, which if you look at it a little bit closer will make sense, and you might not have known that you could do this. It's not particularly useful so much as it is just useful to be aware of different ways of doing things. So here's the actual array, and then we're accessing the array at all of this. Once we're inside of there, we're using the dot length property on the array itself directly, which you wouldn't really do this, but you can. And then taking that length minus one to find the last element. So if we run this, the last element's gonna be five. Looking good. So let's talk about a number sequence where we want to find the last number in the sequence. Not really that great of, an, of a real world example, but that's okay. Perfect. So we're going to complete a function that takes one parameter, an array, and returns the input array's last element. Your function should determine the length of the input array minus one and assign it to a last index variable. Your function should also create a last element variable and assign it to an expression which uses last index to access the last element in the array and return the last element variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, get last element. Which might seem mildly intimidating if it was the first time we've seen it, but it is the second time, seeing as how we did almost this exact same problem in the string section. So, create a last index variable. Um, there was one question that came up from some people about why these are on separate lines and the reason is is because it's just a formatting issue. It, it tends to be the case that if you put too many of these they run off the end of the page and it wasn't really that pleasing to look at. Uh, to be sure in general pseudocode should really be like one line for one line but for now it's okay if it's not. So create a last index variable, so we'll say last index and assign it to the last index in the array, which if we recall is going to be the length of the array, minus one. Then we're going to create a last element variable. And assign it to the last element in the string, which as you can imagine was copy and pasted from the string version of this. So but we want the last element in the array. Variable last element is going to be equal to the array accessed at the last index. Once we have that, we can go ahead and return our last element uh, variable, which again has been assigned to the last element using last index. And if we run it, we should see shoe and door. Unexpected token. Hmm, what happened there? Shut the door. Oh, no, no, that shouldn't be there. So let's see, we might have done something here correctly, but also return uh, result last element is equal to get last element. All right, so let's stop doing this piecemeal. We'll go to line 12. So line 12 is the error. It says to buckle my shoe. Ah, missing the uh, square bracket. My apologies, I ran most of these just a moment ago and I thought I had caught all the errors, but mm, to be sure, I'm going to leave errors like this in the video and try to replace them inside of the code. The only reason is, is that it's never a bad idea to just see somebody make an error, read the error out loud, go to the line in question, and then try to parse it. So uh, that's going to be my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Shoe and door. Okay. Let's copy our function. Bring it back to the input window. Run our tests. And what was the one I was going to use this time? Our turtle has a shell. I don't think that really works. I really like saying we're in good shape, but I feel like that's going to be very, very wearisome for people who are watching all these videos. So let's say our bird gets the worm. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.